Welcome back to Worldwide Exchange. What stocks should you be buying into today's markets? Joining us for some market calls now is Peter Howe. He's head of trading at Helvetia Wealth. Peter, thanks so much for joining us. Listen, um, what is a good play right now, and, and especially here in Asia? Well, uh, morning. Well, we're looking at uh, sector specifically, and we think a sector that uh, is due uh, for a good bounce back is the uranium sector, uh, and in particular, uh, the nuclear power plants. Uh, we've seen three nuclear power plants being built this year in India. We've got nine more in, in the process to be built for 2009, countries like Russia, Japan, Canada. Uh, so we're looking at a rebound A in the uranium price, which is around $57 uh, a pound at the moment, up to around about 90. Goldman Sachs just came out with a report last week saying they think there's going to be a a 55% increase in demand of uranium, up to over 100,000 uh, uh, pounds, tons a year. Uh, and so there are two ways of playing this. One is obviously uh, straightforward. You go for the miners, the producers, if you look at something uh, uh, like Cameco. But the other way that we kind of like uh, as well is that sort of 95% of these new nuclear power plants are being built by Japanese companies. So we're looking at companies like Mitsubishi Heavy Industries, Sumitomo Heavy Industries, uh, Tekoku, uh, Nippon Crucible, Toshiba. Uh, these com these uh, companies we think will greatly benefit from the, from the huge expansion in this energy sector. Uh, even if you just look at the US, which hasn't built a, a nuclear power plant since 1990, we heard John McCain wanting to double output from this sector and, and that would really mean a build of around 60 new nuclear power plants. Peter. So we think, yep. I wanted to ask you to go into a little more detail with uh, Cameco. It's a Canadian company. A lot of people don't know about CCJ, it's, but it's got a market cap of over 13 billion. It's a Canadian company. Uh, give us a few yeah, details because the stock price has been very up and down. Well, to be honest with you, it hit $40 about 2006, and it really has not done a lot since then. It's, it's had a bit of peaks and trough, but this is the world's largest producer of uranium. Uh, it also mines gold, so it's in two nice sectors. Uh, the margins have been very thin for the, for the company, though, over the last year. With It's costing uh, Cameco around $45 a pound to produce, and at the moment the market price is 57 so we think it's going to be probably at the head of the game when this uranium price uh, recovers, which we believe it will do to 90. Uh, we think some of the smaller producers are, are going to be in trouble because of the, the thin margins at the moment. And we also think that Cameco could be in a position to scoop a, f a couple of its smaller competitors up uh, and grow its, its market uh, um, dominance, basically. So we think it's very well positioned. We think it's uh, under $40. I think it's $38 around. It should be uh, an excellent buy. I think UBS have tipped it uh, uh, at around $44. There are some more aggressive uh, uh, target prices of over 50. We think around 50 if the uranium price does as we think, recover to somewhere around between 70 and 90. All right, Peter, thanks so much for joining us today. Peter Howe, head of trading at Helvetia Wealth, joining us there. Lots more coming up next on World on Exchange, including absolutely everything you need to know about the Global Stock Watch. That's when we go around the world and tell you what the markets are doing. I would love to hear from you as well. Email us at worldwide at CNBC.com. I think a true good leader 